was another weekend of angry protests after disturbing video showed Rashad Brooks getting shot twice in the back in a confrontation with the police in Atlanta. In the wake of his death, the police chief has stepped down, the officer was fired, and his death ruled a, a homicide. So I don't know how many times we have to keep seeing this before we realize that there are issues that we have that have to change in the police department. Systemic racism. Joy, I mean, we've all seen the footage yeah. right now. What are you making of all of this? How do you make, how, what are you making of how it played out? Well, I watched it and I thought to myself, I cannot believe that in the middle of this moment that we are in history, when the policeman that, 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 that committed the atrocity the other day to, to George, to George uh, have to go to prison, Boy. that these cops would be so cavalier in their behavior. This is a man who basically had no weapon. He, was, he obviously was napping in his car. He was harming no one. There are so many other ways to handle these situations that I don't really understand why the cops can't be trained to take a different tack with people. People. He, he did not have a weapon. Okay, he was he was pointing a, la, uh, a taser at them. It still was not a deadly weapon. There's no reason to shoot the guy dead. My God, he has children. He has a wife. He has family. Call yeah. somebody up and come and pick him up and take him home. There are alternatives to this behavior. They need to be yeah. trained properly. Plus, whatever you're saying about systemic racism, that is really where it's at. It's got to be all dealt with right now. And we're in a very interesting yeah. moment for that, though. I think a lot of things are going to change right now, I hope. Well, well see. Sonny, what, <clears throat> what would you say to people claiming this isn't such a clear-cut case since Brooks took the officer's taser? I actually think it's pretty clear cut because I, I look at it as a former prosecutor and really the standard is, was this a justifiable use of deadly force? And to Joy's point, even if the fact pattern comes out that he had a taser, that a taser is just not a deadly weapon. And the autopsy shows that he was shot twice in the back. So the Supreme the Court has yeah. found that if someone is fleeing in the back, if someone is fleeing, someone is running away, that is not a justifiable use of deadly force because they are fleeing, running away. You can't shoot someone in the back. So that is just on its face not a justifiable use. Right. I, I don't really think this is a, a close right. call at all. Right. So but the details may differ slightly, but there is a pattern that keeps on being repeated here. So, Megan, in your opinion, how, how do we change it? I think we need to focus on training de-escalation for the police department. That seems to be a huge issue here. This this case is so sad because he wasn't armed and he was in his car. And as Sonny just said, he was he was running away. And I hope this doesn't sound uh, trite, but I've certainly been drunk at a Wendy's before and I wasn't shot. So I, I just, I don't understand how we're going from different situations where some shooters are literally, after committing massacres, Dylan Roof, I believe, was brought through a fast food restaurant on his way to being arrested um, and taken down to the police department. And then another person who is in his car and trying to do the right thing he offered to walk home is then in a few moments being shot three times. And again, I just think we need to Focus on the specific form of training of de-escalating instead of militarizing and escalating. Right. Yes. Sonny, you got a legal note. Okay. Uh, the police union has condemned Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms for acting what they say is too quickly, stating Officer Rolf was terminated without due process and without an investigation. Well, mm -hmm. You know, we'll be right back, but we, you can't say it enough. The only way we're going to find out is a real investigation outside.